So you're planning your trip to Jamaica and you're probably wondering, what should I bring? Hmm, this video is for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys some outfits that you guys must pack when in Jamaica. Oh my gosh, it's raining. So I'm gonna share with you guys like some basics that obviously you guys can plan around, obviously based on your style, but I'm gonna share with you guys the things that, why is it raining? No, this is a sin. <laughs> I think it's ra it's rain season, I think. The first thing you guys want to bring with, obviously don't forget, because I feel like people actually forget this, which is weird, like to bring your sleepwear. You need clothes to sleep, and I think a lot of people are so hung up on going out clothes, going out clothes, going out clothes, swimwear, that they forgot it, forget about their sleepwear. So make sure you guys pack, depending on how long you're staying, clothes to sleep in. Have your sleepwear. And Jamaica's hot, so pack your sleepwear based on hot weather. So think about when it's summertime in your country and what you like wearing to bed during that time. Times, and then add like a thousand heat degrees on top of it. So wear clothes based on that. So like tank tops, shorts, yeah. So the next thing you guys want to pack, leading off on that, is loungewear house clothes, basically. So you want laid back, regular clothes that you can just wear around the house. If you're running somewhere quickly, errands all that you just wear something more laid back loose fitting and i wouldn't even recommend wearing jeans because i feel like jeans take up too much space in your suitcase so just do like cute sets or whatever and just some tops t-shirts tank tops just very easy laid back loungewear house clothes airing clothes okay you're gonna thank me later because sometimes we bring so much going out clothes and i keep on talking about going out because i feel like that's all we think about bringing <laughs> the rain doesn't want me to be great make sure you guys bring those because it happens to all of us we just want regular clothes to put on because sometimes when you wear like going out clothes you have to like dress up with it but when you have regular housewear or loungewear put them on relax in the house relax in the hotel relax in the villa just have relaxing clothes you'll thank me later this whole video you'll thank me later and if you guys do are liking the tips so far give the video a like a share a comment and subscribe because i do a lot more jamaican based videos similar to this and i have some on my channel you guys will look next thing is active wear so i would say like bring two sets of active wear you can bring like a black and then you can bring active wear that's bright colors because colors look good in jamaica so bring active wear because if you're going to do tourist things active wear always is the best attire to wear you can get away with it and it works really well like shorts if you are not someone who likes wearing the shorts active wear you can wear the tights and it works out and then also you can use active wear for errands clothes too because it's like a two one sometimes people wear active wear for errands and you can go around and wear it and do your errands in active wear and it just works out perfectly well fine so active wear is like a two in one you can wear it to actual tourist things and then you can wear it for errands so that means you're saving space in your suitcase and you can get more wares out of your outfit who didn't like that smart idea so bring some that are like nice and when i say active wear bring like the the active wear that's a very thin because sometimes if you bring the thicker active wear like track pants and all that you're not going to be able to pack so much clothing you can just pack a few so when it's like this set i'm gonna obviously you're gonna i'm obviously gonna have some on the screen that you guys can see but when you pack one sim one similar to those you have a lot more wear and it works out and jamaica's hot so whenever you guys are packing anything try to avoid packing long sleeves try and pack like sh like tank tops no spaghetti straps t-shirts lightweight breathable material speaking of long sleeve i would only say probably br just bring one sweater if you want just one one that is versatile that you can wear everywhere one in the air that you can wear in the airport you can wear when you can wear when it's a little bit chilly if it's raining just bring only one one alone and that's it and usually for sweaters i like the zip up ones because those are easily able to pull over and take off okay next thing are pullovers pullovers will save you so much time when you guys are doing water activities down here bring nice ones for when you're like say if you're going to have dinner on the beach or you're at a resort you can have nice pullovers to put over you or if you go to river rafting and after when okay so pullover let me tell you guys first pullovers are basically when you're done swimming you don't really want to put on clothes so you just throw something over you that is lightweight and easy and you look mo more modest that's what pullovers are so of course you want the nice ones depending on where you're going 
after you're done your water sports or water activity you put a nice pullover on and you can go eat at a restaurant you can put a nice pullover on and go chill out somewhere so that's the main reason the second one you can just put like a regular pullover so regular pullover can be like a shorts and a top or like a full this rain is ruining my video. <laughs> For the practical girls, you, you can literally just go in with shorts and a t-shirt. Now, when I talk about shorts, I'm gonna talk about jean shorts or really tight shorts, like those practical shorts that you can just pull over and they're very lightweight. I'm gonna share it. Or you guys can go in with beach shorts. Beach shorts are cute and lightweight and flowy. Okay, next thing, of course, is swimwear. You wanna bring as much swimmer as you actually can bring because I feel like whenever you're on vacay you want to be swimming a lot and but one thing i could tell you guys is bring a mixture of actual swim material swimwear and then swim material that's made just for to wear when you're at a beach party or a pool party so there's two types of swims that are actually made swimwear that's actually made to swim and do sport uh, water activities in and then there's swimwear that's literally there just to wear when you're at certain things like events and yeah so bring a mixture of those okay and then when it comes to swimwear when you're doing swim activities you want to bring swimwear that is modest too so you can bring swimwear that zips up at the front that covers more that's not always cheeky in the bottom area because uh, i don't know about you guys but sometimes when i'm focusing on water sports i don't really want to focus on fixing my swimmer every two seconds or maybe too much is showing too much is revealing so i'm telling you guys bring at least one modest minimum modest swim wear okay i'm just a pro at this now okay and then the next thing you guys want to bring is of course you guys want to bring some party outfits so whatever you guys like wearing whenever you guys are going to parties, you want to bring outfits towards that, okay? Bring some, bring some, bring some, bring some. Bring a mixture. You can bring dresses, two-piece sets, skirts, anything. What you like to party in that you feel like is best that will look good. When it comes to shopping for a vacation, shop at local stores in the area that you live in. Shop online, Shein, Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing. I love Pretty Little. And then the last thing, of course, you guys want to make sure that you guys pack dinner outfits fits trust me sometimes she and clothing that we buy can be both like dinner outfits and like going out outfits at the same time if you know you know so you guys want to make sure you guys are bringing these things so you guys don't forget so let me know if any of these were helpful comment down below let me know if you guys have any other suggestions that you would recommend people buying comment them down below and like for part two because if you're someone who is like beyond a tourist and you come here a lot i actually have a whole different set of things that you guys should bring to jamaica trust me Especially if you're living in country or you're gonna be staying in the countryside of Jamaica. I have that all for you guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have fun on your guys' vacation to Jamaica. <laughs> Alright.